Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to create a kind of pickup system for our jetpack. So rather than just having our fuel regenerate automatically, we're going to be using pickups to, um, you know, replenish our lost fuel. Uh, just to show you kind of what we've been working on in the previous tutorials, um, if I press, you know, play, and now I can fly, and then if I release, you know, my fuel regenerates automatically and then um, yeah so our goal is to um, you know switch that up so it only regenerates from picking up fuel and then we want to be able to fly all the way up to um, this platform so how we're gonna do that is first let's open up our third person character or our, you know whatever character you have and you'll see we have a bunch of functionality already here um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete a good chunk of this. Um, first thing we want to do is over here at the end, we'll delete all this. Um, next, we can delete this whole little functionality, and then we can delete this timer as well. And lastly, we'll delete this clear and invalidate. All right. So um, with this clear and invalidate, we'll just drag it over here so it's closer to the deactivate. We'll hook that up, and that's actually all we need to do um, in, as far as modifying our original um, setup. So that's all good. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add um, like a function that will help or that will allow us rather to add more fuel once the function's called. So to do this, let's go to functions, add a function. We'll call this add fuel. Now. The, the premise of this is we are you know just basically adding fuel so super simple stuff um, drag off of here and say set current fuel alright so we know that we want to set it to some value and what we want to set it to is current fuel plus some value now for this value I'm going to promote it to a variable and I'm going to call this um, fuel regen amount and to avoid confusion, I'm actually going to delete the regen rate because uh, we don't even need it anymore, so it'll be fine. Now, you can see our default value is 1. Um, let's bump that up to like 25. So um, so whenever we add fuel, right, we're going to add 25. All right, so that's good to go there. Um, what we need to do now is we actually need to perform some checks, right, some checks to see if... Um, well, first of all, if we sh need any more um, fuel to add, and then also we need to make sure that we're only adding the right amount. So first, let's drag off and say branch. And for this one, we will check to see if our current fuel is, um, is less than or equal to our max fuel. Because if it is, then we know that we want to add some fuel. All right, so off of true now, we have to do another check. So do a branch. Now for this one, we want to check and see if um, we want to check and see basically if the difference between our max fuel and current fuel is less than or equal to the fuel regen amount. Uh, because if it is, then we only want to um, fill our you know, fuel up to a certain amount rather than adding the full amount. So to show that, let's take max fuel, get it. We'll subtract float by float, drag current fuel and drop it. And then take the return value and say less than or equal to float. And then we want to connect fuel regen amount to there. And then plug the Boolean uh, return value into condition. All right. So now, um, instead of connecting this from true, let's break the link by, I just alt click to break the link. We want to connect this to false um, because if this difference um, isn't less than this amount, you know, if it's greater than 25, then we're going to want to add the full amount. Um, so for true though, we're only going to want to add enough to fill it to um, the max fuel amount. And to do that, it's really quite simple. Let's you know take our current fuel, Control W to duplicate, connect true to it, 
And all we're going to do is just set our current fuel equal to our max fuel. So there we go. Just like that, our function is ready to go. And the great thing about this is if you know you want to be able to modify you know how much fuel your um, jetpack can hold or um, you know or change the amount of you know fuel that your pickups can regenerate it's going to be super easy to just uh, you know modify that on the fly and you won't have to you know come in and manually change all the values where whereas you would have if you hard code anything so um, that's the benefit of our variables um, now what we're going to do is we're going to make the pickup um, so in our content browser let's right click go to blueprint class create um, a new one of type actor and let's call this um, just something simple like fuel pickup that'll be fine so we'll open that up and I'm actually gonna get rid of the scene root I don't like it I'm gonna do that by adding a scene component calling it root and then dragging and dropping it to replace it now all we need to do now next is add a static mesh and let's call this um, fuel I don't know fuel whatever I'll just call it fuel pickup again and from there we can go and set our static mesh so this would be you know the mesh that you use for your like fuel canister or container or whatever um, what I'm gonna use I'm gonna search for a cylinder if I could spell cylinder there we go I'm gonna use this cylinder and you can see it's actually quite large um, we don't need it to be that big so I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit make it more tubular I guess whatever there we go that'll be fine and then the last thing we need to do with the fuel pickup selected is go down to collision presets and change block all dynamic to overlap only pawn now compile and save and let's go to the event graph all right, so we're going to delete the event begin play and the event tick because we don't need them. Um, but we are going to keep this event actor begin overlap. So what we need to do is drag off of other actor, and we want to cast to um, our th our character, so our third person character. Now um, we're doing this because we want to make sure that you know whatever's overlapping it is you know our character, so that we can add fuel to him. So now as our character. We're going to drag off and we're going to call that add fuel function that we made earlier. Um, so just like you can um, get variables and such from uh, from your character, you can also get different functions that you've made for them. Um, and so that can be super helpful. Um, the last thing that we want to do is we want to destroy uh, this fuel pickup um, once it's been you know overlapped, once you've picked it up. So drag off of um, add fuel and we'll say destroy actor and it automatically sets the target to self which is perfect so compile and save and then um, now we can go out to our uh, you know our game and we can start putting uh, these fuel pickups wherever we want so um, I already tested this out and I know it's difficult to reach this one without a fuel pickup so I'm gonna add one right here and then I'm gonna come up to this platform because you know our goal is to get to that one and I'm gonna add um, one two I'll just add three just for safety I definitely want to win in this tutorial <laughs> so um, with those added now we can play so if we press play I start flying up right I'm losing um, but then when I uh, yeah I was losing the fuel just like that but then obviously when you release, um, it's not going to start regenerating anymore. We need to pick up our fuel. So if you watch this, boom, I picked it up and I got more fuel. All right, so now I can try to make it to that platform. So I'm going to fly. Hopefully I make it. Ooh, made it. All right, so now I can pick up these. Perfect. And then if I pick up this one, see it almost filled, filled it up full. Um, and now let's make it to that last one. Fly, fly, fly and there we go you win Woo so that's kind of how you set up um, the basic pickups and 
Uh, that setup, it's pretty transferable to other types of pickups. So, you know, if you wanted to add health to your character, you could do that as well, or, you know, add stamina or really add whatever. Um, you could do it in a very similar way. So, um, thank you. And if you want to see more, you know, like or subscribe or, or whatever, and I will see you in the next one.